to walk down to this little room now and see if we can spot if there's anything special about it. Once we're out on the hill watching a little bit of the chapel, Stone Eye spots this little room, so we'll have a, a quick wander around that and see what it looks like. Just past the uh, autumn equinox, as they say. Crap and crop are back here too. Bulbous maybe? I don't know. Somebody will tell me anyway. As I said, there's not can't see much in here today, it's uh, as a jungle. Pictures a few years ago, I'll see if I can dig them out. There's a big oven in the corner. I think also, somewhere I've got the name of this place. As I've always said, it doesn't take long for nature to recoup what's been taken from it. Never fear, she'll always win. Yet, folks, this private. Can you see anything? Yeah, shotgun rounds. Is there anything on that stone beside you? Well, I think there's something across here, but it's very faded. But I could just be imagining things, to be honest. Talking about uh, no trespassing signs, I did see one made me laugh the other day. Beware of the bull, survivors will be prosecuted. Well, it's been a nice afternoon, really. Hey. I always wanted to do those video that little chapel. Hope it'll turn out quite nicely. Bit of editing, bit of music, bit of writing. Hey babe. Little dub of bulrushes in it. Up. So just quickly I want to show you this. It's the leaning together headstones. Oh I see them. Yeah, it's really nice. I only I found it one day on my wanderings. As you do. And John Tia. No, hang on. Sophia. Sophia Tia and John Tia. Yeah, John is on this side. What like years? 20 years apart. So it was 1872 and 1906. So it was actually the wife that died first. Right. Then 34, the husband. 34 years apart. Yeah, and then the daughter in 1893. So the daughter died before the father. They are touching there. Holding See? hands, aren't they? I'd say leaning together, shoulders lying down. Yeah, I would, I agree with you. My imagination is yeah. really wild. I, I love it. That's the only headstone I've seen like this on the island. I have looked out for more. Really? Yeah, I just came across it one day, probably in an emotional time. <laughs> Not like you, that. <laughs> oh, thanks for showing it. I never knew about it at all. Never. Oh, it's lovely. And they were from... Bala... Bala... Crink. It looks like Bala Crink and Jerby. Jerby. Yeah. I wonder what we could find out about Bala Crink Jerby. <laughs> and where is it? <laughs> it's another adventure for us to do, girl. Yeah. But well, they live on now. They do? Yep. Well, we're here. We're going to have a peep inside Jerby Church. 
Isn't it over the threshold? Huh? The threshold. Oh yeah. Tell us about that one then. Come on. No, but that that's to do with the um that's to do with the the oh, what are they called? Craig Niche. Yeah. Where they take you over the threshold, but they used to thrash what was it, the oats. Thrash the oats at the threshold. So when you get married, when they carry you over the threshold, you're actually you carrying in. yourself into a lifetime of working. And slavery. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I always sign it. Oh, Nikki and Nigel have been here. Have they? They're, they're right there. 24th. September. Are you both on that? Who, me and you? Hmm. Ray and Carla, yeah. yeah. Um, I just put St John's. Mm. <laughs> They're right about the jam, look at them. It's a lovely little well-lit church, isn't it? It's really nice, yeah. I'm going to send that to Nicky now. It's over there. Oh, it's like the font for the christening, I guess. Um, is it? I think so. Yeah. Well, the font is actually out in the porch. Is it? The old one, yeah. But that will be... What they use now. Yeah. Look at all these little things around the wall. It's fascinating. Hmm? It still must have been an exhibition in here of some sort. Yeah, I think so. Blackberry jam that you like? Hmm? Blackberry. Blackcurrant. Oh. It's funny, when I'm in a church, I always want to speak in low volume. I don't know why. Ooh! Orange marmalade. Should we get some? Yeah. Twenty-three, twenty-three. Significant year, is it? Mm. Gosh, you look like you're about to be hung. <laughs> I think anybody will work it out. Here's your marmalade. Hold it there, just keep it down there. I'm good to you. This is the marmalade we purchased. In the honesty box. We'll let you know how it goes, how it tastes. I wonder who made it. They're well cute. I don't know what show these were from, or whatever. Doesn't say on them at all, no. Does it say on them? Read out what you can see. And East Knappen. That's something to do with the, the keel where we've just been. Oh, look, it's, it is the keel where we've just been. It's the St. Patrick's Chapel before, uh, below that picture. What's the and there's, there's, some, there's something written here St. Celia's Chapel, just over the fields from the White Jerby Church. You'll find in the ruins, if you care to search, the home of Sir Juan and the family of mice at Bala Celine, so pleasant and nice. 
This midsummer's day they have opened the farm for all to enjoy the quiet rural charm. With alpacas to walk and horses to ride and pig racing too as they get in their stride. The sheepdog works hard as it rounds up the sheep. Where sheep shearers gather the wool in a heap. There's produce for sale all grown on the land and the dancers to watch as they skip to the band. A day to remember for all the Selenes being able to visit and be part of the scenes of animals, dancers, all out in the sun on this midsummer's day that's been so much fun. This display has been made by Ross Richards. Thanks to her artist friend for the painting of Bala Selene. I think it's called Selene. This is Ross Richards here, this lady. Wow, that, that must be her poem. Thank you, Ross. Copy of the mind is reading it out. Well, let's hope, hope she doesn't mind. Oh, look at this. Can you see this? With this little mouse. Hang on, let me come into it. Go on, say again. See yeah. this little mouse? Yeah. There's a little note there saying, just visiting Isle of Man, thought I'd like to join you. Mm. That's really cute, isn't it? Mm. Maple over there. Oh, yeah, with the um, barley notes behind it. Gosh, this is lovely. A good day. Didn't have high hopes of it. Turned into a lovely day. Derby Church is sitting on the only hill, probably for miles around here. But that gets some wind and weather. If you've not been to Derby Church, have a go. It's open today, well it's open, we were here anyway. <laughs> 